We're coming in, and this is not just a hotel room. This is her home. There's a powder room. Large coat closet. Got the kitchen. I've got some things on it. Granite's okay. I would get rid of the cabinets. I mean, you got a got a cool view when you're you're doing your dishes. Except somebody else is going to be doing them. And yeah, this is in the formal dining room. It's really pretty. Really pretty chandelier. And look at this table. And this is an office that is currently a bedroom. Dark paneling and a little TV with an incredible view. Central Park, Columbus Circle down that way. And it's got a closet here in a secret passage. These two open up. This one's been updated with a just a shower. And in here we have the parlor, which is large. This is where Harry and Leona Helmsley got married in 1972, I believe it was. Don't hold me to it, but I believe it was that year. This looks real pretty with the lights on. And you got the great views out here again. Fabulous views. Wait, I'll show you something in a minute. Central Park, just dead on views. Look at that, gorgeous. And this entrance hall is, is huge with these little crystal chandeliers. And this is funny, it's got a uh, wine fridge right there in shelves. But it's just, uh, just beautiful. I love these old books. Okay. Now this, besides going into the kitchen, this goes into the master wing where it's got a Harry's bath. You see it's got a big storage thing in the mirror there, which is actually really cool. And more closets and that's actually got a table in it for events and these are more closets and the lights come on when you open them uh the desk area here looking over central park working on the computer huge bedroom this was their bedroom and um it's got really awesome view of Central Park. Now, let me show you the final view of Central Park because it spans the whole width of the building this, this unit does, a penthouse. Okay, you go in here and it's got all these closets. And it's still got the, the old school kind of bathroom, the bidet, so that's still really cool. And the closets are really neat. But here's uh, what I like. Shut this door and the lights turn out those lights up there. Look at this for your shoes. Isn't that great? Tons of them. Okay, you go through here, and these are huge closets, these doors that open, and they all have lights that come on, and these shelving units pull out, so you have to like schlep around and bend over to get your, get your shoes out, and the lights turn off. I mean, this is something I've seen in some homes, but it wasn't really commonly done until later. So this was a, you know, 
early adoption thing. And it's just filled with them. And then wait. You love this. Oh, that's my New Year's hat. Let me have to spend some more shoes. Beauty salon. Your very own salon. And this has the final view of the furthest view in the building of Central Park. And all the windows have electric shades, which is nice if you don't want people seeing in, which I don't think they can unless they're like weirdos with binoculars that you never know, right? So, let me go back at it. And these shades do the same thing, and the curtains, you know, just close like normal, normal curtains do. I love the size of this room, and all the storage is just like unbelievable. And see, there's a safe, and that's some event tables. Just wait to what I'm gonna show you. Okay, are you ready? Let's not go to the powder room, because I think that's silly. So you can get a layout of it. Okay, right off the main entryway here, this is the door. Check this out now. And it's a little freaky because I'm close behind you. You might think you're locked in. This is the secret or infamous 47th floor. And look at this. This was, I mean, this is actual art. This, it looks like railing in a picture. And the railing's over here. 1979. See that? Okay. And you go up and you see the lights. That one's burned out. Okay. So you go up here. I think this is so cute, this Linosaur. This is just so charming. You go up here, it continues. This is the laundry room, and this is anything to write home about, but you know, it's just um, what the maid would use for the laundry. And it's got two areas. And it's got a steam shower. Look at that, like a, you have a sauna and steam shower and precious little bathroom. That's like the original sink that was in here. That is, I would never get rid of that. That is too cute. Okay. Now, this is where, if you saw the Barbara Walters interview, I heard your butler stood upstairs and handed you a shrimp when you got out of the pool. No, you know, it's not true. That's a high cholesterol food. Uh, and it is. If I have high cholesterol, I don't eat shrimp, very rarely. But look, that's the pool. It's covered now. It's a party room. But this is the pool. Look at that. And she owned the Empire State Building, so this is a vintage poster here. I mean, some of this is like originally her, her things. And then you come out here and you've got a whole terrace. Now, a man paid over $230 million for an apartment in that needle building. Doesn't have a terrace. It's got really tall windows though. I mean, I can't imagine that. You can, you can stand here and like look at Columbus Circle. Um, You can look over Central Park. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Wait, wait, wait. Yikes! In the early 2000s, okay, right over there. Do, 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 do. I lived there. There's a red brick building with some glass on it. And there's one with construction that's being built brand new, blocking the view of the Hudson. One that's getting blocked. I, I lived it. 
Isn't this gorgeous? Now, I actually do like the smaller building right there. I think that's really well done. And of course, these older ones are just gorgeous. But that thing, it's creating a large shadow over Central Park. A lot of people aren't happy about that, myself included. I think it, I think it's taken away some of the charm. You know, when this was built, it was the early 70s, they weren't happy it was so tall, but now it's like, it, at least it balances all these other taller buildings out, you know, up here on the, the 47th. And I guess that with the mechanical room, you know, you could say it's 48 floors, but um, that's just mechanical. This 47th floor, some, something special that uh, no one gets to see much of. It's going on the Upper East Side here. From the Upper West Side to the Upper East Side. Are you ready for something funny? Look down at the plaza. I call that the cigarette building. Hang on, I'll give you a view. Those are the courtyard rooms. And that top floor, like I mentioned on my uh, live, the top floor was originally servants' quarters, and like for the maids. So they, they built these, you know, for these turning into apartments for these really wealthy people. And this one social out when she saw the ceilings were in it, and it went all over that she cried and ended up not having to buy it. Got out of the contract, which, yeah, I don't blame them. Um, you know, if you sell somebody something and it's different, later after it's, the construction's done. I don't think that's very good. Uh, but, yeah, it's kind of like the, the article they wrote was a little harsh. I'd be upset if I spent a whole lot of money too and it turned out completely different than I thought or, you know, different. And this is another little party room I'll show you real quick. That in there is just a sink and it's got some party equipment. We still got the wooden logs. This wonderful fireplace. Look at that. This is a great party room. It just needs some windows replaced because they they're fogged, which is actually super common. buildings. They're really pretty. Wish people try to do that more now. And 
And this just goes into the other room. Inches. Right now we're over the kitchen because this window right here is right over the kitchen area. I think it's going to be a pretty sunset. Let's walk back this way. You can, see, you can see this people climbing on the rocks in there. Oh, I was in there. It was so, the trees are so thinned out. It's just unreal with winter. How you can see everything. Zoom in. Fear of heights. I'm gonna zoom in on. Yep, there you go. This is just incredible. Another view of the famous plaza. Okay, I think I have bored everyone enough, and I'm gonna go shut this and go back downstairs. And that this is so cool. And this has got to be a pool. <laughs> I get it though, because I always found myself using spas more and got bored with pools. So, there you have it. And one person after the next, and I was like, okay, had a pool, don't want one again. <laughs> They can be wonderful. They can be a lot of work too. Groovy. That turns off the. I'm gonna leave these on because I'm gonna be up here later. Anyway, that's the general, general layout. I love the little powder room. So 
actually got a cute little Two dishwashers I grew up with those. And those are from the early 80s. KitchenAid, they're really, really well made. And that's why they still work. She'll leave you with that. You can see Columbus Circle better from here. I guess if we are down a little lower. Look at that. Entryway. And that's a wrap.